Okay, this is Mark Summers again from Summers Technical Services. Talk about the second part of the uh, top-down design we're working on. This is the Dash 3 standoff. And let's talk about the requirements for this part. This part needs to be made out of aluminum, like the others. It needs to be a male-female standoff. You can see the male threads at the top. And then there's female threads at the bottom. And it also needs to be the right height. And this height we'll talk about in a little bit, but that'll be defined by the design and the location of the NARDA components. So you're going to find the height. And again, this is not a part you're going to design from scratch. This is a part you're going to purchase. So it's a specify. You're going to specify the part from the products available from RAF hardware. Now the first thing you'll do is go to their website. Do a, <coughs> excuse me, do a Google search. Or uh, I'm going to spell the name there. H-D-W-E. I don't know what the website is, but just do a Google search on RAF hardware on the manufacturer's website and go look through their product literature and find a part number that they sell for a, for a standoff. And you're going to, once you find that, you're going to get that approved by the lead engineer, which is me. So you're going to get the part number from RAF and you're going to send me an email or tell, ask me about it in class and I'll verify that's the correct part to use before you start modeling it. When you save your CAD model, you're, you're still going to give it the name that we use on our custom names. And so that'll as be as before. Student ID, assignment six. This is part number three. All right, so let's talk about this height. How are you going to determine this height? Well, you're going to have to do a design, and you're going to have to lay out where these components are going to be. And so the height's going to be determined by this adapter that's sitting on top. You know what that part number looks like because I've given you the data sheet. This is a 29992 hard apart. And then, you know, on the bottom is where my plate is. So you know where it is, you know where that NARDA part is, and you're going to come up with this height right here based on what's required. And a little hint is you're not going to be able to find the exact height you need for this particular design. And so you're going to come up with an approach on what to do to make the part work. We have to buy a part from RAF. And if it can't find the one that works perfectly, we're going to have to modify that part in some way. And so we need to have a discussion about that. So do your little sketch, figure out where those, what the height needs to be. And the other requirements are that this is, this distance across these flats here, I call that a, call it a 3 8 inch hexagonal standoff. And so the distance across the flats of the standoff is 3 eighths of an inch. And you know the size of the threads on the male thread and the female thread based on the features on that NARDA adapter and my base plate. Okay, so that should give you enough information to get started on the Dash 3 standoff.